we were recording and you said you had just gotten back and it was days after, but you were still see, feeling the oh, yeah. positive effects. Oh, yeah. Like you're on this like cloud nine. Kind of. You just feel a lot of energy inside. And uh -huh. all of us have that available to us. Right. It's, it's always there. It's just we, we keep it hidden because we're not practicing. And that's why everything's a practice. And you need to give it time. Mm -hmm. Even if it's 10 minutes a day. That's why meditation, breathing, yoga. Right ice plunge, yeah. all these things. If, if, if you want to be healthy, there's no magic pill that's going to make it happen. Mm -hmm. There's no, now there's a lot of good vitamins you can take, yeah. but you need to be doing things. You mm -hmm. need to be working on your body. You need to be focused on it. And it's not all your time. It's, it's going to make the rest of your life better. Welcome to the Nick Fong Podcast. As the broker and owner of Ronaval Real Estate, Nick has spent nearly 20 years in Baja, California, sir. And in this podcast, he'll be talking everything Baja, from food and culture to real estate and property management. And now, here's your host, Nick Fong. Here we go. All right, welcome back to the podcast. Man, so excited to be here. My friend and fellow expat in the Cabo area, Corey Riggs. Yeah. Thanks. Good to see you, buddy. No, great to see you too. I'm so excited to be here. And it's in person because we do a monthly real estate we do. thing we on do. Cabo Mill. And that's always on Zoom. We're never in person, but I always run into you at the coffee shop. And I wanted you here because there's a specific topic I want to talk <laughs> about. And it kind of is shown in your shirt. But before that... If, for people that don't know who you are, yeah. where are you originally from, Corey? I'm originally from Arizona. Mm -hmm. and growing up in Arizona, I always had this dream of speaking Spanish because I, li I lived in Tucson, which is about an hour from the, from border. the border. And I just always wanted to speak Spanish, but I didn't, actually didn't start really learning Spanish until I was 27. Okay. So I went to a graduate school where uh, you had to speak Spanish to graduate or a second language wasn't specifically Spanish, but mm -hmm. I chose Spanish. And just always had a dream to live and work in Mexico, and, and that's how I ended up here. So. And was it Cabo at first, or did you go to other parts of Mexico first? I actually lived in Mexico City for a couple of years, so okay. it, probably 2007, and then I came here in late 2008, early 2009. So you've been here for quite a while? Yeah. And yeah. for those that don't know, you are involved with Cabo Mil, right? Yes. You have the weekly English-speaking segment. Cabo Mil News Speed Update in English, and with Claudia Velo, my partner in crime. Our friend Claudia also, <laughs> and but your day job, so yeah. to speak, is yeah. what? So I work in the foundation world here, mm -hmm. and I I first arrived in Cabo with uh, Los Cabos Children's Foundation. Mm -hmm. I was the executive director for them. I was running a foundation in Mexico City. Got recruited to come here with, with Tom Walsh. Maybe some of your listeners know Tom Walsh. Uh, he started Los Cabos Children's Foundation, and so I worked there for a couple of years, and then have been working with the El Dorado and Chileno Bay Foundations, mm -hmm. which we've developed those over the years to really get more people involved here and to, to give people an opportunity to help the community. Because a lot of people that live here part-time, they, they want to give back, but they don't know how and they don't know which foundations to give to. So we, we help vet those. And then we create community projects, which you've also been involved with. Right. So. Yeah, the alliance that we... What, tell everyone about that. Yeah, so when, when COVID started, I mean, one of the things here, uh, as we know, we're a tourist destination, and mm -hmm. there's probably 80% unemployment right away. I mean, everyone laid everybody off, right. and it was, it was pretty scary when it first started. I remember, I remember you called me, and we were talking about that right in mm -hmm. the beginning. And one of the things we were concerned about is after the Hurricane Odile that happened in 2014, People didn't have anything, and there was just some some looting going on, and right. some very very big insecurity. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, well, how can we avoid that, and how can we keep this safe here? And so we got together with uh, you were part of that, but, mm -hmm. but there was two hundred foundations and businesses that got together along with the government, right. and we were able to uh, help help support and give food to ninety four thousand families over seven months. Jeez. It was incredible. Yeah. It was it was creating a business in a month. Right, and we raised five million dollars mm -hmm. uh, from the com whole community, and was able to really do a lot of good. And out of that has come other great things that we're working on now. 
Can you talk about the project or is it still? No, absolutely. Left? I can yeah. talk about it. So, so one of the biggest foundations in Mexico is called Teleton. And they do, for your listeners out there, they probably know the Jerry Lewis Telethon if they're old enough. Yes. Maybe some of the younger people don't know. Uh, you and I probably know that. But, uh, but so it's based on that model. And they build these world-class children's rehabilitation centers. Mm -hmm. Incredible. There's one in La Paz. When, yeah. when I was with Los Cabos Children's Foundation in 2008, we worked very hard to get it here in Los Cabos. Mm -hmm. And at the time, the governor wanted it in La Paz, and that's where it ended up. But we want one here now. And mm -hmm. so we are now working on a project to bring a children's medical campus with this with this facility from Telethon. It's called a Crete. Mm -hmm. And it will be the centerpiece, like a the spokes of a wheel. It'll be the center of the wheel, and we're gonna spoke out into other children's medical services. One of the issues in Los Cabos is there's no specialty medical care for children. Right. And so we actually have, as a community as well, provide a bus that gives children rides up to La Paz where the specialty medical treatment right. is. And also, Ronnie Ball, you were part of that. You were mm -hmm. one of the first donors to that bus. Right. So thank you. And you're thank getting you. another bus we are. also, right? Yeah, we're about to get a second bus. So not only are we going to have the facility here, mm -hmm. but we're going to get a second bigger bus because there's a huge cool. demand for, mm -hmm. for the bus we have now. And that bus will still take children up to La Paz because they still need cancer treatment up there. Any foundation can use this bus. And it will also, when we do have the facility here, give local transportation to the, to the children, to Excellent. the facility here. So that, the first bus is still running, right? Yes, correct. Since March 12th of 2020, it's been running. Wow. All right the way through the pan, all, right. And all the way through the pandemic. Wow, that's amazing. And so this new facility, hopefully it comes together. You're still in the planning stages of that. But it's going to be state of the art. It's going to be, it's incredible. Any, any U.S. doctor we've ever taken to see one of these facilities, mm -hmm. they, they're like, we have nothing like this in the United States. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. And it's, it really comes out. It's not about the equipment. I mean, it's, it's great equipment. It's, it's world-class equipment, but it's really about the Mexican culture and why we choose to live down here. It's how they take care of the whole family. Mm -hmm. The Mexican people really take care of the family and it's integrative care. And it's such a beautiful thing. And I invite anybody that wants to go see the facility. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll take them to show them. There's, uh -huh. It's incredible. So I did have an opportunity to visit the Crete in La Paz, oh, and it's incredible. Um, Sol Gutierrez, our yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. friend and yeah. works at Ronival. Um, you know, her daughter spending a lot of time there. And so I had a chance to go there. It was amazing, amazing. It's like and, Disneyland. Yeah. It's, but, inc it's incredible. It's, yeah. it's, you just wouldn't expect that. Yeah. And it's, it's so happy. Yeah, so it's great. super cool, super cool. So talking about medical care, and a lot of medical care is actually preventative. Yep. And so one of the things that you and I have <laughs> talked <laughs> offline on uh, quite a bit, and it's because of you that I got my ice barrel. Yes. <laughs> so um, let's kind of roll yeah. down the preventative medicine yeah, and yeah. all those kind of things. What got you started in that? Well, I, I am a yoga, I'm a, a yogi. I, I do a lot of yoga. I teach yoga. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I got into was breath work after mm -hmm. that. And there's a very famous guy named the Iceman's Wim Hof. Uh -huh. And I got into Wim Hof breathing and actually am getting certified as a Wim Hof instructor. I'm going to Spain in, in January to finish the, the course. But one of the things about, about Wim Hof is he does incredible breathing, which, which it really helps a lot with, with so, health. So yes. I, I do the Wim Hof yeah. method. Yeah. How long can you hold your breath? Uh, I have held to four and a half minutes. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. But it, but I have to warm up to that. And it takes like probably five or six rounds before okay. I get up to that. Kind of are, time. are you starting at like two minutes, a minute and a half? I maybe? usually start at two minutes uh -huh. and then, and then the next will be two and a half minutes. And then all of a sudden I can go to three and a half minutes and then I can make it to four minutes. And, and then sometimes it's past. I really want to get to five minutes. So everyone, that's holding your breath for that long of yeah, time. And it's incredible. My my record is three minutes. And wow. so this wow. morning I still that's great. Yeah. Three minutes is great. So you're like my my mentor in regards <laughs> to these, these kind of things. That's why I wanted you on because we're talking before we were filming the Cabo Meal, yeah, the yeah. monthly spot. And I'm like, I just want to bring you in and just talk more about this from a selfish perspective. And so, no, and everybody yeah. should know about this because th there are things you can do at home mm -hmm. that absolutely take care of your health. 
absolutely prevent things from happening, mm-hmm. keeps you young, keeps your skin looking good. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, it's pretty easy, actually. You just need to take some time. And everyone, Corey's about 85 years old. <laughs> and so it works. Just turned 86. <laughs> oh, so. Okay. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so you start following Wim Hof doing his breathing method. And so, that, you know, and Wim Hof is known for the ice. And mm-hmm. so you do breathing. And then he, when you first start Wim Hof, you do, do these cold showers. Well, in Cabo, cold showers don't really work because okay. the water is not that cold. It never is. So the other thing he does is he does ice plunges. Mm-hmm. And of course, he's, he's in Poland or he's in the Netherlands where he actually goes out into a pond that's full of ice and, and jumps in. And, uh, but, but so we, I bought this ice barrel and I start, started doing these dips in it, which you now have one too, but it's amazing what it does for you because it gets rid of infl- inflammation. Mm-hmm. It, you're, if you work out really hard, the recovery is fast. Yeah. It's incredible for your skin. I, I throw some Epsom salts in that. I don't know if you yeah. do that too. But. I do. I, I did do it, but then because I use it many times during the week. Yeah. yeah. And so I, I have essential oils, ah, that's so also I drop good. essential oils in it. That's also good. The, what I like about the Epsom salts is it's magnesium, oh. and it's a great way to get magnesium, which is also really good for you. So, but essential oils are okay. good too. So. But but the the cold plunging is and it really to get benefits for it, it's thirty. You need thirty seconds. Better ninety seconds, mm-hmm. but anything anything three minutes and below, you're getting all the benefits. Mm-hmm. I like to stay longer because <laughs> you also can practice breathing in there. And so there's the Wim Hof breathing, which is really almost like hyperventilation, mm-hmm. but there's lots of other breath work that can help calm anxiety, help, help just, you, you lose the fact that you're sitting in ice mm-hmm. and you can actually lose yourself for 10 minutes and yeah. be in there. And I know that you've done it for longer as yeah. well. Yeah. Not so, as long as you though. What's your record? Uh, I've done 15 minutes. Okay. So, but it's, Fif- yeah, I haven't done, I've done. 12 minutes. Okay. But no, normally great. it's I mean, that's less like, than 10 minutes. Yeah. And that's, you don't, you don't need to do that. It's more ego doing yeah. that longer, but it, it really doesn't, it's not that much more beneficial to do yeah. it that much. No, I, I found amazing benefits just from, I do it now every other day. Yeah. And, yeah. That's about what I do now too. And I know we're exchanging notes of different products. And yes. so did you get the new product? I think I'm going to, I'm going to order it. I believe I'm going to order it and I'm going up to Arizona and driving up to Arizona okay. and I'll I'm bring gonna, it down and drive it back. And so it's a, it's an ice bath that you don't need to put ice in because I'm, I'm having to get ice every day and I put it in this ice barrel, which is, which is okay. But to actually have one that's cold all the time, that's you right. Can just get in it. And yeah. uh, so looking forward to it. All right. That's time. exciting. What other stuff are, have you found that you do or yep. you want to do? Well, the biggest thing I, that, that I also do is I do compression therapy. And mm-hmm. so there's these, there's these, um, well, I, I, we were talking about, we're going to, we're, we're opening a business down here. So mm-hmm. it's called Optimize and that's the shirt that I have on. So you can see all the people can see the uh-huh. Optimize here. And ice bath a day keeps the pharmacy away. <laughs> absolutely. And that's, that's absolutely true. And just trust me, if you do, if, if you would just do this, just try it. Mm-hmm. Five days in one week, just go five days a week and you will feel so, you will feel like a different person at the end of the week. And it gives you so much energy. If you do it in the morning, it gives you so much energy the rest of the day. Anyway, so there's a business in Phoenix called Optimize. Right. And I started going there. I became friends with the owners. Mm-hmm. And it's incredible. You walk in, you do an hour circuit. Mm-hmm. And the first thing you do is compression therapy. And there's, there are, the, there are these uh, air, air compressors. Mm-hmm. And you put legs on. Mm-hmm. And you hook them in. And you can, you can put different levels on. And what it does is it compresses first the feet. And then it goes to the calves. And then the, all the way up the legs. Yeah. And then it... It's real tight and then it lets go down the other way. So it, it's incredible for your circulation. Oh, it's actually what people use that have heart failure in end stage heart failure. It's, it's what's used to help people's circulation. Huh. But if you started doing this now, you will never get heart failure. And this is what, what you know, they, and, they, and they always go to that. The, the Western medicine always goes to that at the end when they could be doing it way before drugs, way before anything. But a healthy person, it helps it helps you recover. Mm-hmm. So after a workout, it also just helps your whole circulatory system. And mm-hmm. you can do it while you're doing breath work. Again, it all comes oh. back to breath work. Mm-hmm. And it and it's really giving your whole organs a massage when you're doing when you're doing breath work and you're doing the circulation thing. 
There's a leg thing, there's a hip thing, there's arms. And so you, you can get incredible benefits for the whole body. Now I do it in my house here uh -huh. and I have what's called a biomat, which is also incredible. And this is something that you lay on and it's a crystal, it's a crystal mat mm -hmm. and it releases negative ions. Mm -hmm. So you actually feel like right away when you lay on it, you feel like you're in nature. It's, it's the same feeling I have when I'm at Yellowstone or I'm, I'm out walking because it's out. all the negative eye and, and you're just relaxed and you're, it just, it takes down the anxiety level. It takes down everything and getting this compression done. Hey, thanks for being a part of the Nick Fong podcast. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast to get the latest updates. And if you're watching this on our social channels, please like and share. And if you want to be featured or you want me to talk on a certain topic, food, activities, culture, real estate in the Baja, drop a comment. So you're on the mat, you yep. have these compression things going on yep. and you're doing the breath Wim Hof work. breath work. I don't, do Wim Hof. I don't do Wim Hof. Okay. I do a different type of breath okay. work. All right. And I, and I actually have a, uh, which I'll forward to you. It's a, it's a piano music that's a six second in and six second out. Uh -huh. And it's different than Wim Hof because you're just doing through the nose, mm -hmm. which is very, which is also, there's a lot of benefits to just nose breathing. And it's when you, when you regulate your breath like that and the way you breathe in, so you, you breathe in first from your, from your abdomen and then you fill up your chest and then it's like you expand your shoulders. So you think about breathing in that way and then you breathe out the opposite way. Okay. And what that does is, is it's, it's massaging every organ. It's really massaging the heart. Mm -hmm. And so most, most people are breathing with their upper 30% all day. Yeah. And so what's happening is there's all this stale air. That's, there's 70% of your lungs that never gets worked out. And that's why people end up having asthma, mm -hmm. a lot of issues, anxiety, high blood pressure, sure. because the whole system is not being yeah. worked. So when you do 10 to 20 minutes of conscious breathing, where you're filling up the whole cavity, mm -hmm. your lungs are getting worked out. They get younger. Your heart is actually, as you, as you breathe in and your, your diaphragm goes down and then it comes back up when you're breathing out, it's giving your heart a massage and it's getting any stale blood out. It's getting all of the stale air out. It's just amazing. And, and that's why it's important too, when you're breathing like that, doing conscious breathing, you want to do it through the nose because then it's filtering the air too. A lot of people, when they start just breathing in the mouth, we're getting a lot of things in our, in our lungs that we shouldn't. Mm -hmm. And our nose, our nose is built a certain way so that we should be breathing. Now, Wim Hof, he has a different, if you're breathing like that, the, the hyperventilation you're doing through that, it's fine for a while, but most of the day we should be breathing in and out our nose. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, wow. Anyway, I just, so I how long have you been doing the compression? <laughs> I've been doing that, uh, for about the same amount of time that I've been doing the, the, the ice? ice plunge because I started going to this, this optimize I was saying, and, and so you start with the compression for about 20 minutes, mm -hmm. you walk into the place, it's, it's a circuit. Then you go to infrared sauna, which mm -hmm. is a whole nother great, great health benefits. Mm -hmm. And you do that for about 20 minutes. Then you go get into an ice plunge three to five minutes yeah. in, in the ice bath. Then you get into a jacuzzi uh -huh. and then you come back and you do the ice plunge and you're done. And that's an hour and the rest of your day is just incredible. I mean, you're ready to go. And so, so that I, I was so inspired by, by that place that I bought the equipment and I, I want to open up a place here. So I've been working with the guys, they, they're working on their franchise model and, and we're going to be one of the first franchises Sweet. here. So it's going to be very exciting, but we're, but there's other things that you can do there. They have a bio, charger which is like a tesla technology energetic thing you sit around you do breath work around it what does that do it it's it's like a you become a this, battery <laughs> it, it, you do <laughs> you actually what's so incredible is is the room is about probably this big uh -huh. and you have this biocharger in the middle and it's like throwing out energy it looks like the tesla machine yeah you know? <laughs> and so you walk in and you have a you, you could you walk in with a light bulb and the light bulb goes on it's, it's not plugged in. It's not plugged in. What? It's, just, it's just a light bulb. You put it in and it goes on. And so imagine what that's doing for you. <laughs> it's like you're, you're, you, you get so energetic. Your, your, your hair is up, you're breathing there's, and you feel incredible after you feel like you've been recharged. And so that takes about 12 minutes. So that's another thing you can do at this facility. 
The other thing is red light therapy. Yeah. You go into a booth and you get naked and you're just, you're just in this booth and there's red light all around infrared. There's near infrared and far infrared. And the great thing about that is it's getting the benefits of the sun without getting the bad parts right. of the sun. Right. Now it doesn't give you vitamin D. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, I mean, you need to be out in the sun for that, which everyone should be out in the sun from seven to nine in the morning yes. or after like five o'clock. Mm -hmm. Get out in the sun and take the shirt off, do and, and get that real and look at the sun with your eyes. Don't have your sunglasses on. Your eyes need that vitamin D. So, but the infrared therapy, it's incredible that the red light therapy, because you can, if you have a scar, mm -hmm. you the scar. Oh shoot. Oh my gosh. I can I can have something wrong with me and go and, and do infrared and just put it there on it. I have a small one that's uh -huh. big, so I, it's, you can put it anywhere in your body. Or I have a I have a panel that I have at the house, and I just get in front of it. And if I have a scar anywhere, I promise after three or four days of doing that, it's gone. Well, it's how how does amazing. that work? What, what, what's going on? I, I don't know all the mechanics yes. of it. I can just say that it works. And it it actually, there's a lot of benefits. To say, now, I'm not a doctor, and i got to say all those things. But I I there are anecdotal uh, evidence that this infrared therapy actually can help people's eye. People can stare at it. Now, more of the far infrared, not the near infrared. The sure. near infrared can hurt you a little bit. But the far infrared, you can look at it. People have cured glaucoma with it. They Jeez. have cured cataracts with it. They have done a lot of, um, I'm trying to think of the other one where you can only see out of the sides. Not the kidding. peripheral? Uh, yeah, it's, but I forgot the name. It's, okay. it's, it starts with an M. But anyway, people, people have, have used infrared therapy uh, the red light therapy to to get rid of those things. Jeez. Skin, any big bad scars, it really helps uh -huh. with that. It helps to moderate your testosterone levels, your your cortisol levels, uh -huh. and the same with the infrared saunas. The, the infrared saunas are really really nice because you know I like the saunas where you put the water on yeah. as well, but the infrared saunas they kind of heat you up from the inside, and it's it's just you just feel uh, you feel cleansed after. So it's just a really beautiful thing. So th there's a lot of cool things you can do. So coming soon. Yes, coming, coming soon. soon. Optimize Cabo. All right. Soon. And you've done, I remember you went one time to a retreat, like a breathing retreat. Yes. And correct. it was, wasn't it here in It in was Baja? in Santiago, actually. And so what was that like? Was that just one day or a weekend? Three weeks. Three weeks of living in a tent. Come on. Yeah. You were there for three weeks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what are you just doing breathing exercises the whole time? <laughs> You're doing a lot of stuff, but but the the gentleman that runs it's one of the most famous breath workers in the world. I mean, he's, his name is Dan Brule, and uh -huh. he lives here. He lives right in Santiago. Get out of and here! And he has a beautiful retreat center there, and uh, Biosana it's called. Uh -huh. And he's actually developing it right now and making it even better. He's he's, he's making it more luxurious, but it's it, it's it's. He's going to have an area where there's just tents and then there's an area where it's going to be a little more luxurious, uh -huh. but he, he, he develops it with the land. So he's really, uh, everything's environmentally friendly and, and they're, they're taking care of all the plants. He's got incredible gardens out there, but he is, he studied with Baba G, which is a very famous, um, uh, I'm trying to think who, who studied with him, the Beatles. Grew with oh yeah. The Beatles talked about it. Uh -huh. uh, he's an, he's an older gentleman. He looks he looks a lot younger than he is, and it's because he's a he's a breather, and he does a technique called rebirthing. So mm -hmm. you learn how to rebirth, which is a technique that uh, is is close to the Wim Hof method, except you're not holding your breath. Uh -huh. You keep breathing like that. Yeah, um, you're you're, you're it, the hyperventilating mm -hmm. type of breath, and um, it's incredible because if there's a lot of people that do psychedelics like mushroom mm -hmm. and things like that and in that generation of that he came from they were big into that breath work gets you to those states just the same mm -hmm. and obviously you don't have the after effects sure. of, of those types of things but it really gets out trauma so the whole idea of, of rebirthing and that's what we really studied there with him was being rebirthed and we did it three weeks in a row we were there was 17 of us there from all over the world and we would switch partners and rebirth each other. And it, what do you mean by rebirth? What, is it so taking you back to It does. Your... When you start breathing like that, what's amazing is you start seeing your birth again. <laughs> you just, and, 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 and you ask, well, why is that? Why do you start feeling your birth? I mean, I had, I had experiences where I, re, I looked up and saw my mom and, and coming out of the, 
out of the womb. Are you freaking kidding me? No, no, no. It, you get into you get into states that are just inc- it's incredible. It's incredible. It's it's very powerful work. I think when I heard about it from you, we were recording, and you said you had just gotten back, and it was days after, but you were still see- feeling the oh, yeah. positive effects. Oh yeah. Like you're on this like cloud nine. Kind of. You just feel a lot of energy inside, and uh-huh. all of us have that available to us. Right. It's it's always there. It's just we we keep it hidden because we're not practicing, and that's why everything's a practice, and you need to give it time, mm-hmm. and even if it's ten minutes a day. That's why meditation, breathing, yoga, right. uh, ice plunge, yeah. all these things. If 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 you want to be healthy. There's no magic pill that's going to make it happen. Mm-hmm. There's no, now there's a lot of good vitamins you can take, yeah. but you need to be doing things. You mm-hmm. need to be working on your body. You need to be focused on it. And it's not all your time. It's, it's going to make the rest of your life better. And that's what, if you, if you have a morning routine, I really, I really recommend a morning routine where yeah. you, you take an hour in the morning and you do your 10 minutes of meditation, walk outside, be in the sun. Uh, if you have a dog, it's great to have a dog. That's you, you got to get outside right. in the mornings. Uh, walk on the earth. That's the other thing. Have your feet in the there, sand, on the, the grass, sand, on the grass, yeah. on the earth somewhere because it's also we get a lot of energy from the earth. There's mm-hmm. a lot the negative ions I was just talking about. Yeah. They come into you, and you and you you. We, what we do is we we have rubber on our feet all day. We're in we're in rooms like this. Mm-hmm. We're sitting in chairs. We're not out in nature, and yeah. and it. There's, there's a whole pharmacy out there for us. And it's just it. changing the mindset yeah. of, of doing it. And it, it goes on eating right, all, all the things. You yeah. do. Corey, this has been great. <laughs> You're going to have to send me some of those links. And, I will. Uh, I that, will. That, that retreat in Santiago. I will, for sure. Um, for sure, for sure. The compression stuff. Yeah. You know, Rocio, my wife, she's like, every time she's like, what are you buying now? I'm like, I, Corey told me to get I'm gonna it. Get you, I'm going to get you a whole list of things because the compression, you're going to fall in love with it. Oh, I, I know I will. Yes. You're gonna, everyone, everyone in your house is going to be fighting. You. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Corey, until the next one. And everyone, Thank Corey you, Riggs. Thank you, Nick. See ya. Until the next one. Bye for now. All right, brother. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Nick Fong Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast and the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Ronaval Real Estate. And follow Nick on Instagram at Nick Fong underscore Ronaval. Ready to find your Baja dream home? Check out the latest property listings at Ronaval.com or findmexicohouses.com. Hasta luego.